Happy Friday, friends. So I want to share with you, friends, I ladies, whatever you want to call it. I former teacher, so I typically say friends because that's what I used to call my classmates. So me and Rosa are here to share with you a quick fit pregnancy workout, which uh, I'm I can't leave you down there. <laughs> Someone's gonna talk to you. So um, this is great for postpartum. This works your inner, your entire core unit, your TVA, which is extremely important to strengthen during pregnancy and postpartum. It helps you push the baby out and afterwards it helps you heal everything back together so you can reduce that post baby belly as a lot of people say that's one of the reasons why we suffer from that if you're not engaging your core properly the other thing is it works your pelvic floor because that's the whole unit your core unit is comprised also of your pelvic floor so if you are not exactly sure how to engage properly be sure to snag my free core basics course where i go over that and once you have access to that you have two free core workouts that you can do pregnancy postpartum anytime and also only those people get access to this um, special ebook that I made where it shows you how to properly and do like a belly pump in your fitness routine so make sure you snag that today I have two things you're gonna need today a band and a little ball and um, let me hit that timer quick row row <laughs> Don't you touch that, girl. Don't you touch it, girl. Rosa. Oopa. Sorry about that. Okay, so the first move that you're going to do is you're just going to sit on your knees and you're going to do some diaphragmatic breathing. So just some inhales and some exhales to connect to your core. Do that about... Five times. Close your eyes if you need to. Release all that stress. Okay, you're gonna pick up your band and you literally, you can stay on your knees for this. You're gonna outstretch your arms and you're literally just gonna open your arms and then close them. The whole time you wanna be breathing, con controlling that intra-abdominal pressure. So you are strengthening that core unit, okay? So inhale, exhale. <laughs> you are such a little stinker. So you can do about 10 of those. <laughs> Rosa, Rosa, go play over there. Look it out the window. You see the chick chicks? <laughs> of course I have no idea what number I'm on. Okay, so do 10 of those and I'll show you from the side too. So watch my belly as I'm activating. So I'm inhaling. Okay, so that's true activation right there. Um, the next, hey, hold on, I gotta set the timer. The next one, you're gonna grab your ball and go to a wall, okay? You're gonna put it between your legs and squat, and you're gonna just push inwards. So on the push inwards of your legs, you're going to exhale. So just this. And then exhale. Okay, so do ten of those. Um, <clears throat> I can't do 10 because I have a little, a little one that's gonna be a little difficult. Okay, so the next one, you're gonna grab your band. <coughs> and you're just gonna do some squats, some deep squats. 
but you're going to engage your core unit the entire time and practice your breathing. So, this just keeps your hip, everything in line. It puts that added resistance. Did you poop? All right, so, inhale, exhale. And you can put your arms if you don't have a little one. <laughs> Rosa! You are such a turn! So inhale. And you don't even have to go all the way down. You want to just make sure your pelvis is aligned. And you're going to feel that burn. Okay, you're going to feel it here if you're breathing properly. If you're not feeling it here, if you're feeling it here or in your calf muscles, check your alignment, right? Okay, so do 10 squats, <laughs> slow and controlled. Okay, and then the last one, you're gonna work on those hip flexors. What? A roller. You want the roller? Okay, I'll get it for you after. So you're literally just going to stand here, inhale and exhale, and you should feel this all right here. That is going to build these muscles up for you to prevent the waddle, <laughs> the pregnancy waddle, okay? You really need to strengthen this area. So you can do 10 on each side. I'll do like five to demonstrate, but... You got it? Okay, and then I'll show you the side view of it. You want to be sure you're not like jerking around, like you want to be stable. Um, your heel pushing into the floor and then lifting, okay? And it doesn't have to be a huge lift, um, especially if you're experiencing pelvic pain. A small lift is all you need. If you're breathing slow and controlled, you will feel the burn. So there you have it. Um, be sure to go check out that free course that I mentioned. I'm telling you, it's a game changer. <clears throat> um, and I really dropped some nuggets in there for you. Um, happy Friday, and when you do this workout, drop a emoji in the comments below. Peace.